Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Pega DevOps. I hope you heard about this term DevOps, right? DevOps being a buzzing term for the last few years. And in a lot of places, the clients, they really need some Pega DevOps engineers. So first, let's understand what is DevOps here. DevOps is not a role. It is kind of a practice where you can perform both the development, both the operations. If you take any application, it goes through development as well as the deployment, right? The entire process, it's not only about development, you also need to do some operations. The operations can be on the infra side, you need to install some softwares, you need to deploy it. So it has its own entire life cycle and DevOps engineers can take care of it. They can do the development and they can also support the operations side. I can probably say I'm doing the Pega DevOps role for the past few years. For any Pega people, development is always easy. I feel it's easy. You just go to the Pega Dev Studio, you get some requirement, you build your UI, you build the activities, sections, the integrations. It's just easy. It's always kind of a low code. But when you look at the operation side, there you'll have little challenges, I would say. First, you need to understand how the Pega servers run. I would say it's definitely a must for everyone to know how Pega performs on the infra side. Let me share one of my experiences. When I started driving, for the first time when I was steering the wheels, I was beat up, right? I don't know what I'm doing. My instructor was there, he was sitting on the side, but he was instructing me what to do, when to apply brakes and everything. I was just doing whatever he said. I don't know what was happening inside. I really get into some kind of fear, I would say. Then what I did is, I just went through Google, I just saw some YouTubes, I just want to understand how a car works. There is a clutch, there is a brake, there are different mechanisms are there, right? Just I understood some basics and the next day when I go, I know what I'm doing. By that way, I overcame my fear. My confidence was a little high. From there, I picked up. I just started driving. This is just one example. That may be another example. I still have some fear of electricity. Like if I want to do some small electricity work in my home, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But if I get some knowledge, maybe I can overcome that challenge. So what I meant here is, if you are running some Pega applications, if you get to know how a Pega application runs into some server, how the infrastructure works, what are the CPU you need, what are the memory you need, if you understand the core logic, then as a Pega developer, your confidence will be really high. You will get into your field that, okay, you can do everything in Pega, not only on the application development side, but also you can manage or you can own a Pega application. Now let's see some of the ways how you can skill up yourself as a Pega DevOps engineer. I'm going to concentrate only on the operations side. The first thing what I did is I just went through some Linux courses. Why I did Linux courses is most of the applications, they will be running under the Linux operating system. So I just went through the course, just try to understand the commands, the processes, what really happens when you run some Java process into a Linux machine. And I'm pretty sure Pega is also running almost maybe 99% of the applications may be running into the some of the Linux operating system. It can be a different flavor. It can be Ubuntu, it can be Debian, but it's a flavor of Linux. I'll provide a link in the description, the course which I went through, the Red Hat Linux administrator. Just the basic, I never gave the certification. I'm not a certified Linux administrator, but I went through the course. I learned some basics. Now I understood a little how a Linux machine works. If you are totally new, if you don't understand Linux, it's exactly like some Windows machine, like your laptop. In your laptop, you are running the personal edition, right? Similarly, in Linux machine, it can be a big machine. It's, it will not look like a laptop. It can be a big machine in an organization where enterprise applications can run. It's not a personal edition, enterprise Pega application can run. Not only Pega, but all other applications also can run into those machines. So definitely they will also have some folders like the C drives which we have in laptop, they will have some folders. We have to navigate to the folder. For example, if you want to get the log files, you need to log in into the Linux machine, how you log in into your laptop, get to the right folder and then get your log files. These are all some basics which you can learn from the Linux operating system courses. Once you get some basics, okay, so this is how we are running the Pega application. I would also ask you to go through the installation guides. In Pega community website, they provide some nice installation guides. They have some installation, they have some upgrade guides. Just go through the guide, try to understand what they are saying. 
they may be talking about something for example they may talk about fi load balancer you may not understand at that point what you can do just google it load balancer is very easy you will just understand it nothing specific to pega application it's used in all the places right because at the end pega is spinning up a java process so it's more like a java process is running so most of the things you can also relate it with other applications by this way just google it try to understand small small things you don't need to be master in everything for example load balancer you don't need to master you don't need to configure everything but understand the basics what does the load balancer does what are the main parameters it accepts or what are the main operations it can perform if you understand some basics and when when someone talks about those load balancers you will know what they are talking you will try to understand based on your understanding then you will get some clear pictures over it okay now once you go through all these installation guides the upgrade guides you will get some understanding how pega works and then i would ask you to go through some of the cloud related courses first you can start with the containerization as you all know vm based deployments are getting deprecated we are moving towards the containerization lot of organizations they are containerizing their application and they are making it container ready making it cloud ready and then deploying into cloud infrastructure so having at least the containers basics is the best one which you can do once you master the container then you can go into the kubernetes deployment it can be aks eks whatever deployments you want to choose you can choose containers and the orchestration the kubernetes orchestration i would say the main thing container you can use the docker container mostly that is a preferred container i'm just not marketing docker but i'm saying docker engine is the most widely used containerization engine so you can go through the docker course and kubernetes course so how do you go through the course i provide a link i see in the best instructor there's a guy called moonshot he owns the code cloud platform I strongly recommend his course. If you want to know the basics, if you are totally beginner, just go through his course. You will understand everything. That's how I started my containerization knowledge journey. And I also started reading a book, which you will also find here. The book about Kubernetes is also very informative. If you are a beginner and if you are interested in reading books, definitely you can give a try. And my current course is on Argo, which I bought recently in Udemy. Argo is like Kubernetes native orchestration, which we use in our project. So I want to know. how this argo works in depth so that's why i purchased the course and i'm learning still i'm in the middle of the course and i would like to talk about one more important course pega course the pega master class course the course is ever growing every sunday i add a new lecture and tomorrow this sunday a new lecture is going to get added so if you want to improve your knowledge not only on the operation side but also on the pega development side you can very well enroll with my course investing in knowledge is always going to be more fruitful you will definitely not regret about it so don't wait more get started with your devops journey and definitely you are going to understand lot of new thing and you will not be bored with the normal pega development of sections and activities learn new and grow high see you soon